He deserved that after what he's done. Right, you better get out before I throw you out. I'm not leaving. That bloke killed my nephew. What? You're Jerry's Uncle Terry? You should be in prison right now. Don't you even care what you've done? Oh, more than you know. Have I missed something? Yeah, don't worry, Pollard. I don't think it's over yet. Chaz, can we go through the back? Get him properly dried off. Yeah, you don't have to ask. And you're right. I deserve a lot worse. Come on, Doug. Look, I'm sorry. When he didn't reply to an attack, I just thought you weren't interested. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, I didn't mean anything. Oh, look, it hadn't sunk in. But it's our Jerry. I, I had to come. Yeah, well, there's easier ways of announcing yourself. I just heard his name and... <sighs> I still can't believe it. <sighs> Sorry, I just... I didn't mean to lose it like that. Jerry, um... He used to stay with me and Robert. He'll, uh... He'll be missed. He already is. Yeah, he had a lot of mates around here. We were all here to talk about the funeral. That's his best mate over there, Lachlan. I know about you. He spoke about you all the time. Yeah? When did you last see him? Uh, recently, I, uh... <sighs> You never realise when it's going to be the last time you see someone, do you? You probably don't want to hear this, but I need you to know how sorry I am. And I will face up to whatever comes my way. Jerry was my friend, and you should know that not one hour passes where I don't think about that lad. Doug's a good bloke. He was like a great granddad to Jerry. Times like this, it's easy to feel guilty about what we might have done differently. I mean, guilt I felt when my Steve went and got hit by that electricity pylon. Steve? He was your husband? Cockatoo. Cockatoo. I accidentally killed one of our pigs once. I, I couldn't sleep for weeks. Well, now you know why Jerry loved it here. Oh, I'll have a white wine, please, Charity. He's the main attraction. It's not karaoke night again, is it? Mm. Did, he, did he always have a thing for the older lady? <laughs> yep. Just a shame the older ladies never had a thing for him, except restraining orders. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have, a, like, a top ten in all different age groups, all the way up to 60. Only 60? Seems a bit young, that. <laughs> Lock up your grandmothers, eh? <laughs> it's quite obvious. You two had a lot in common. <laughs> so are you his dad's side, then? Am I that ugly? <laughs> what, did he talk much about our mob? Oh. Didn't really talk about his family. Oh, you dodged a bullet there, then. No, oh, I'm his, uh, mum's brother. All oh, right. I know they weren't really on speaking terms, were they? Well, I told you then. Ah, she's gutted. They never got a chance to make up. Poor thing. Well, poor all of you. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me for a minute. <laughs> 